So I had one simple question that I wrote out and I put on a sticky in my dining room. Why has it been 76 years since Lou Gehrig has died and there is no treatment? I've been sent home to basically die on my own in this day and age. Why is that the case? The thing that I was shocked at the most right away was that in ALS, we were the most fractured group, second most fractured fundraising group in the entire United States. So we came up with ALS One, you know, one team, something that represented Boston, represented what we're trying to do here, but represent the unity of one group, bringing the family and friends together first. Because that inner circle starts with anybody connected to this disease. I woke up one morning, I was like, God, it just feels a little harder to take a breath. And from that on, eight weeks later, you know, I, I can't get the breath, my diaphragm's being affected. Every breath I take, I'm reminded of where I'm going. Every breath. When I'm not here, the secret to this, to me, is to build this program, build this team, and get these people to work together. And I think that's gonna be the glue that when I'm not here anymore, it carries forward. Because we don't want to, I don't want to start something and then it dies off. We need it to have momentum. And if we're going to find a treatment or a cure, my money is it's going to come out of the medical Silicon Valley of the world. And I think it's right here. As I'm at the point where I'm at the end of my life, and I've been blessed materially, so blessed, none of that means anything. All I really focus on and think about is that relationship. It's the most valuable thing there is. You know, the relationship with your wife, with your kids, and your friends, it is so important. And when I'm in bed and I'm at the end, the last breaths, um, I, wanna, I wanna make sure that I've done everything I can do to squeeze the juice out of those relationships. That's the secret right there. At the end of the day, as human beings, it's not how much we make or, or all that stuff. I always tell my kids, at the end of the day, a real man's judged by what he gives. That's it. What have you given back during the course of your life? How have you helped? That's the real judge. You know, sometimes I have a dream. The dream that this somehow uh, reversed. And just the difference I could make would be staggering. That's one thing I wish. We all have skills. We all have talents. We need to choose to use them to, to make the world better, to make the things better. Because I believe that that's why we're all here to be. Maybe leave the world a little better than we can it. You know, when you're alone, you're stuck. When you're together, you go far. You know, but you bring that together and you have strength. You have unity, you have purpose, you have a movement, you have people coming together as one. This is gonna make a change. And if people get behind this, we can change and end this disease.